I got four or five. One, two, three, four. And then, oh, I just can't count because that's four. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's do it. The furrow is not cooperating today, but that's okay. Okay. Are you ready? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinia McKell. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today is going to be a very quick um, haul. It's not really a haul. I picked up a couple samples from Dawkins Aroma with their new autumn release. And so we're going to smell any, smell a couple things that they had to see if I want to purchase anything in a full-size bottle. Before we get into that, you know, I have to thank my subscribers. You guys have been holding it down. You know... Um, the month of October is my, I'm trying to catch up and get back on my regular schedule and, um, keep up with everything that's happening that's current and also videos that I should have done already. It's just, it's a lot going on for October. Um, uh, so just bear with me. The content is coming in no particular order, but it's coming. Um, and y'all are just being so supportive and encouraging. Uh, I'm catching up on comments, like everything. So, um, I just have to say to the best subscribers in the whole entire world, I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are incredible. Um, yeah. I love you so much. So, without further ado, this should be relatively quick because I only got four things. So, let's just start with whatever I pick up so this is shy love which I think is supposed to be a dupe for um love don't be shy okay all right um so we're gonna give this a spray now technically when I sprayed love don't be shy the actual perfume in the store at Sephora I didn't like it um, but I have like dupes of it. You already know the perfume oil from Fragrant Body Oils is my favorite. It smells better than the original perfume, but also smells a little bit different. Um, I have Latafa Ensemble Gold, which is a dupe of kind of like the Oriana Love Don't Be Shy type of thing. So I don't, I don't know where I am with my Love Don't Be Shy journey. I think I'm liking dupes more than the original. So I think that's why I got this because I'm thinking maybe... I'll enjoy this and want a full bottle of this before committing to a full bottle of Love Don't Be Shy. So, but we'll see. Um, good sprays. While well, that's marinating. Uh-oh, something's already hit me. It's already hit me. So they say, inspired by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, savor this refined orange blossom blend, complemented by velvety marshmallow, decadent caramel, and creamy vanilla notes. Okay. So, I mean, I already could smell it before I put my nose up to it, but... Okay, so this I like. This I do like. Ooh. This might be full bottle worthy. Because, I mean... Okay, so to be fair, like I said, I only smelled Love Don't Be Shy in Sephora, right? So, I didn't take it home. I didn't wear it on my skin. I just smelled it. And I was like, mm, I actually really don't care for this. So, let's leave a little room for that that I haven't like worn it on my skin spent time with it and played with it right however this is feeling like what I thought the original would give like I can smell the marshmallow it feels like I can smell I don't know this is really good hmm like I feel like I'm eating a piece of candy like I they blended this really, 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 really good. Oh, the I mean that marshmallow, it's like it's touching me on my shoulder. <laughs> like this is actually really, really good. Like they did all the notes to perfection. Orange blossom, marshmallow, carp. Like it's all in there and it's top tier. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. This is really good. Here's my dilemma. I feel like I should go get Latafa Ensemble Gold, but I'm not going to go get it. But I feel like if I have that one, do I need this one too? I'm sorry though. I think this one is a little bit better than the the Arabian Perfume version. Like, oh, the it's like candy marshmallow. I feel like I'm eating a piece of candy. Like, that's how 
potent and specific this is. This makes me feel like it's kind of in the mood of um, what are those sweeties or something like that? Like that type of candy. I feel like I'm eating a piece of it. This is blended quite quite well, or like a Pez piece of candy or something like that. Like, wow, I might have to spend the block on this. I am sorry, and. In reality, I don't need it, but I think I'm going to get it. And because, you know, Dawkins Aroma, they normally have, like, restock dates, and then the website will be down, and then they'll have another restock date. I think they're trying to keep their website open for a longer period of time. Um, but I just don't want to play around with this. I'm sorry, that is good. Now, if you tell me that the original Love Don't Be Shy gets to that, I just have to let it macerate, macerate, and like settle on my skin, then I would spend the block. But I don't know. That shy love from Dawkins from Dawkins Roma might have. They might have that on lock. That is actually incredible. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to top that. Like I'm seriously contemplating just going on the website and get another a full bottle right now. I don't even care about performance or long, or long, oh wow. Or longevity because I'm just like the smell. Woo. Okay, this is vanilla woods. I think this is a, a Nishan perfume. Nishane. Yes, inspired by Nishane's Ani. This seductive, sweet, and spicy woody blend is composed of bergamot, ginger, pink pepper, cardamom, patchouli, cedar wood, smooth vanilla, sandalwood, benzoin, amber, and musk. I don't know why I got this. <laughs> because those notes actually don't seem like something I want but that's why I only got it in a sample that way if it's something I don't like it's not going to take me long to get through and I haven't really wasted you know a ton of money okay so now I will say all of these are really potent because they're I think they're all extraits too yes our extraits contain a high oil content a high oil content applying to your clothing be cautious in order to prevent staining of delicate fabrics because I'm already smelling it before I put my nose up to it okay this feels like a really sweet masculine scent this feels like a really pretty cologne um now caveat 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 I've never smelled the original Nishan's Ani is that what it is so I can't yeah, I can't confirm if this smells like the original. Based on the notes, this feels on par. Um, I feel like this is, belongs on a man. I feel like a man should wear this. And you know what I say. You can wear whatever you want, whenever you want. However, the scent profile leans very, very, very masculine with just a hint of sweetness. Um, if, they, if a man ever said, I want a really, I want a vanilla cologne. Like, I want a... I want vanilla, but I want it in cologne form. I would say, try this. Um, I would kind of want to put this one on my skin, though. Because there's the sweetness makes me a little bit drawn to it. But the mas the masculinity in this fragrance is so strong. It's just like, I don't think this is going to work well with my chemistry. And I would much rather see this go to a man and and be enjoyed on them than me trying to make this work. Like... And I like a good perfume that leans a little masculine but still has some sweetness to it, right? So like Ebony Wood from Zara, uh, BDK Gris Charnel, um, the wet, Wedding Velvet Santal from Kayali. Um, I like those types of a little bit masculine but there's some sweetness to it too that balance it out. Even like Commodity Milk Express, like I, I, I could fool with it. Don't give me too much. Give me a little bit. I think this is a little too masky. But I, I don't think it's... I don't think the fragrance is bad. I, I kind of believe that this is what the original smells like. I just think it's... This one not for me. Okay, so I get a lot, a lot of citrus on my skin that I didn't get on the paper. <sighs> There's also like a creamy orangeness to it. What am I smelling? Bergamot, ginger, pink pepper, cardamom, patchouli, cedarwood, smooth vanilla, sandalwood, benzoin, amber, and musk. Hmm. I'm going to play around with this. I'm going to play around with this because there, 
the masculinity is there. I can't deny that, run away from that. It is. But contrary to what I thought, on my skin, it is pulling a little bit of sweetness out. Having that said, do I feel like do I feel like I want a full bottle of this? Not right now. Honestly, I feel like I could layer this with love, don't be shy. Hold on. Or shy love. You know? You know? That's actually not bad. That's actually kind of good. You know? It's like you just got to be grown to wear it. You know, it's like it's kind of giving that energy like that kind of vixen type of thing. There's a certain level of maturity and elevation that you need to be able to pull it off. That's what it's giving me when I mixed it with that. Because my initial thought was going to say to do Vanilla Woods and to mix it with my orange cream sickle from Bath and Body Works. I have some orange dream sickle, I think, from um uh Indulgent Spa. And I have an orange dream sickle perfume sample from or perfume oil sample from sugar works bath and body which i want to spin the block on them and order like more stuff to really get a feel of what how i feel about them um but all that to say my initial thought was to do vanilla was with like an orange dream sickle type of thing to bring out the sweetness and see how it works so hmm although it does lean very masculine now that i put it on my skin i'm kind of like let me play around with it. Let me play around with it and let you know because there's something there. There is something there. The masculine masculinity is there as well. However, there's the citrus or whatever at the top. It's kind of it's it's teasing me a little. So we got the the jury is still out on vanilla woods. This is twice baked, which I think is a dupe for Lyra. Yes, inspired by Zerjoff's Cosmorati Italic. Oh, no, Italic. I don't know why I thought it was Lyra. Notes of saffron, almond, toffee, milky accord, bourbon vanilla, cedarwood, and musk create a luxurious aroma akin to warm almond biscotti submerged in a sweet and creamy beverage. Let me tell you something. That description has got me sold. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Yes, it does. Okay, twice baked. Again, this is another one that I've never smelled the original, so I can't compare. Oh, shoot. I think I just sprayed y'all. There we go. Oh. Oh. Something already hit me before I put it up to my nose. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's hitting on something. Hold on. I got to put that on my skin. When I be spraying this stuff, I be spraying everywhere but everywhere but the intended target. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, that's good. Wow. They have really got the bread in there. What else? Is, why do I smell some more citrus, though? What's in here? Saffron, almond, toffee, milky core, bourbon, vanilla, cedar wood, and musk. Warm almond biscotti submerged in a sweet and creamy beverage. I mean, there's nothing else to say because the description is spot on. Wow. It's almost effervescent. If you're a gourmand, can I say that? I, I think it's safe to say if you're a gourmand lover, you would love this. Even if you're not a gourmand lover, because I'm not a gourmand lover, this is still a time. And you know how I am about vanilla. This is good because it's got some, the cookie vibe to it. It's got some layers to this. Oh, this is an amber fall? Wow. You know what type of layering combos you can come up with when you got this cookie vanilla bourbon thing going? They was on to something. Now, here's my thing, though. Well, no, but I was going to say, because sometimes when I like a perfume, I want to see what the original is hitting on. But, I already know Zerjoff is expensive. So, I might leave them where they at. Do they have a dupe of Lyra? Did I get it? I'm jumping the gun a little bit. No, I don't think I got it. I've smelled their Lyra before. I have their Lyra. I'm, this, this? 
That's good. Wow. Y'all not gonna be able to tell me nothing in the fall. My layering combos about to be next level. That's really good. Okay, the last one I got is Cozy Cola, which I think is a dupe for Mancera's Velvet Tonka? Tonka something. I actually almost bought the full bottle of this the other day. So this is Cozy Cola, experience the delectable, inviting ambiance of old-fashioned soda shop. A sweet, delightful fragrance with notes of black cherry, cinnamon, nutmeg, cola, patchouli, tonka, vanilla, benzoin, and lab... I can't say that word for nothing. Lab... Labdanum. Labdanum. <laughs> All inspired by Mancera's Tonka Cola. Almost bought the full bottle of the actual perfume. A couple weeks ago because I forgot who was talking about it but they made me really really want it so I almost blind bought the full thing but we're gonna try this sample first and see what it's hitting on and see if this is something that I might want to get oh uh it's already all of these are really strong they're all greeting me before I get to it this smells like them sat sachet sachet packets that you can get from like at home or Burlington. They're just supposed to put in your closet and it makes your clothes smell good or makes the room or put it in the drawer and it makes clothes smell good. That's what this smells like to me. It doesn't smell bad because if like I bought a, the smell like this before and put it in my closet or in the drawers or something like that to make the room, you know, because clothes can get that kind of old smell or whatever. So, that smell for that purpose, yes. This smell for my perfume, I don't know if this is something I would want. And again, this is no shade to Dawkins Roma, like this is probably a spot on dupe. It doesn't smell bad at all, it smells pretty, it smells nice, but I'm just familiar with this type of smell for that type of product and not something that's supposed to go on my skin, if that makes sense. It smells nice, but I don't think I want to wear this. You know, um, as in I don't think I want a full bottle of this. Which is because it could be saving me from purchasing a full bottle of man of the of original and not liking it. <sighs> I do get a little cola vibe, but it's it's something that's putting me in the mood of like some potpourri or something. It does smell nice. It, it's it's a pleasant smell, but do I want this on my skin? I already know off the top, if I find myself not wanting to wear this or just trying to get rid of it, I'm going to just wear this with um, Da Vinci Linter D Rouge. Yep. I'm picking up something that I don't like on my skin that I don't get on the paper. Um, We're going to have to spin the block and see how I feel about the uh, Cozy Cola. That vibe is still there, but now there's something in that that I guess is maybe the patchouli or something that I'm not caring for on my skin that my skin picks up. <clears throat> um, but that y'all know them such a things I'm talking about. They sell them at like at home Burlington Home Goods. They're in these pretty decorative packages. They have all kinds, and they have like some I don't know powder or sand stuff in there that's scented, and you're just supposed to hang it in your bathroom or your closet or put it in your drawer to help to help your clothes and stuff smell good and I get stale and stuff that's the vibe it's giving me uh, I mean like I can't smell it and not think about that so overall this is a win to me this is a success because I have two for sure that I know I want to spin the block I want to spin the block and the impatient side of me doesn't want to wait because of how quickly Dawkins Aroma will sell out of things. Like, hold on. Let's see if it's even on the website right now. Okay, Shy Love is still on here. What about Twice Baked? Twice Baked is sold out. Let me click notify when available right now. Wait, do I have to put my phone number? I don't want you to text me. <sighs> that Shy Love is good though. Should I get it now? No. But what if I wait and it sell out? Don't be mad. That is good. I don't know. I might have to spend the block and get that. That twice baked. I've not, like I said, I've never smelled the original. Only one I've smelled the original of is Love Don't Be Shy. Um, 
But yeah, this is a win for me. This is a win for me. Nothing smelled bad. Nothing smelled terrible. Some things were my preference. Some things weren't. But at the end of the day, even the other two that are not my preference, I'm just going to let them sit for a couple of weeks and come back to it and see if they've developed or changed or whatever. Um, I can work with all of them. Even the ones that I don't care for, they're work withable. <laughs> so, um, yeah, head over to the after party. Let me know what you think. Have you shopped with Dawkins Roman before? Of course, they are a black-owned company. Um, what is on your wish list from them? What have you got from them that you love? Um, what do they have that I haven't mentioned or tried that you feel like I would like or enjoy? Just, you know, talk to me. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts? Um, and, yeah. Yeah. This they got some bangers. That's what I will tell you. They got some bangers. But um, that's all. I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next one.